Several days ago, I had received a message from a young actor out of London who wants to audition for a Hollywood movie coming out, a biopic of a person that this young actor had actually met twice in real life. He's incredibly passionate about this movie project and he wanted to have sort of a creative talk with me about his strategy of how he could get an audition, about me critiquing his self-tape, and there was so much zest and all the emotions of what it means to weasel your way into parts and to kind of break through the machine that is Hollywood. There was so much about his attitude that I absolutely loved. And yet when I responded to his email, I basically told him that he was never going to get the part. Not yet anyway, because when I looked up his name, when I Googled for who he was, I couldn't find anything. I found some links, a backstage page, but there was no demo reel. He had no credits prior. He didn't have a following on any social medias. And because of that, he would never ever get the part. He was a nobody and nobodies don't get Hollywood roles. Now, as someone who likes to speak about topics such as the law of attraction and how you can sort of visualize your way into certain manifestations, I don't like the idea of taking hope away from people. And that, that wasn't what I was striving to do with this person. But oftentimes in our pursuit to try to manifest certain results, that are our dreams that we're totally driven by, we fail to recognize certain elements of the world that are also true. And that also, if you don't acknowledge, will leave you blindsided and perhaps jaded down the line. And so for today's video, I actually wanna draw inspiration from Machiavelli, the Italian diplomat and philosopher who talked a lot about political leadership during the era of the Medicis and beyond. He existed about 500 years ago. And while there are certainly many elements of what Machiavelli had said that aren't relevant to our modern lives, there are many aspects of Machiavelli and these principles of power that actually apply to entrepreneurship, being an actor, being a musician, any sort of creative role. There are so many elements of these power play rules that apply to our lives today. And so this is what I wanna address with today's video. Five principles out of Machiavellianism, Machiavelli's ideas on power that are relevant to today and how we can apply these in our work as creatives and as entrepreneurs. And so the first principle is this, the world isn't always a meritocracy. Machiavelli says, the fact is that a man who wants to act virtuously in every way necessarily comes to grief among so many who are not virtuous. Now think about all the actors who aren't that talented, who have had amazing careers, or people in your corporate organization who have risen to power, risen to great heights, who didn't always seem to be the most qualified. The world is not necessarily a meritocracy. Having merit certainly is a huge asset, but there are so many other elements at play in getting a part, in getting a role, in having your music land in the right way. Talent, merit, it's only one facet of getting the part, of making it. And if you don't understand that, then you might get left behind. The second principle is this. If we're not relying on just having a meritocracy, on just having merit, then what we need to focus additionally alongside that is perception. Perception creates reality. In his book, The Prince, Machiavelli says, men judge generally more by the eye than by the hand, for everyone can see and few can feel. Everyone sees what you appear to be, few really know what you are. And this idea of paying attention to your perception alongside your merit was captured really well in a paragraph in a book called Power. That book talks about a man in Brazil, a young corporate man named Marcelo, who rose to enormous heights in his career because alongside his main responsibilities in his work, he also paid attention to taking on media opportunities, marketing opportunities, and his bosses began to notice the fact that he was advantageously showing himself in all these media fronts. Here's that paragraph from the book. Marcelo built a three-pronged strategy. The first part entailed doing a lot of hard work and to the best of his ability, delivering good results. The second was to build networks, both inside and outside of the company, relationships that could help him be successful. But Marcelo also recognized the importance of creating a positive external image that would attract allies and support. He began to carefully cultivate the media as a way of becoming better than he actually was in the eyes of the world. And by doing so, actually be better because of the effect of positive expectations and image on how he would be seen. Marcelo began writing articles about finance and management and sending them off to relevant Brazilian publications that wanted interesting content. Marcelo also volunteered to do interviews about his company with the media. Many of his colleagues felt that this was a waste of time and a distraction from their real jobs. 
Few wanted to be bothered with drafting press releases and handling media relations. Marcelo was doing these tasks not just for his department, but for many others in the company. And as his skill and success at these tasks grew, others came to him for help. As a result of the fact that Marcelo built a perception of himself as someone who knows things, as someone who has resourcefulness and could provide a unique skill set, a unique value to his company, he actually ended up taking on a managerial role at a very young age, at age 27, overseeing 100 people. The third Machiavellian principle of power that relates very closely to this idea of perception creating reality is doing things that gets you noticed. Do things to be remembered. This is a principle of success that many actors especially do a terrible job of. They're amazing actors, they have incredible talent, they can do things that so many people in actual movies can't even do. Like they're amazing in terms of generating emotion within themselves and within the audience. But they're terrible at packaging that work, packaging that skill, that talent, and placing it out in a way where it's remembered by people. Remembered by the people who can pull them up into the roles that they want. If you want to acquire a certain level of progress in your terrain, oftentimes it requires doing things that will get you remembered. I'm looking back on the example of Tom Holland, the actor who plays Spider-Man in the recent Marvel movies. While there were about 200 young guys who were all well versed for the part, they had already had decently successful Hollywood careers prior to this, you know, monumental role. Tom Holland in one of his self tape auditions and at the final audition alongside Robert Downey Jr. did a backflip. He did a backflip and that got the casting directors and the producers attention. And what could be more Spider-Man like than to go ahead and do a backflip on the day of your audition. It's one of the things that got him remembered and most certainly would have contributed to him getting the part. In advertising, it works the same way. One of the best measurements of an ad working, of a campaign working, is ad recall. Not necessarily the fact that the consumer liked the advertisement, they have a recall of what that advertisement was. If you're not seen, if you're not heard, especially if you're a creative, you don't exist. And so to get power, at least the way Machiavelli would have put it, you've gotta do things to get remembered. The fourth principle of power is to recognize your client's key result areas and then to execute them with speed. Speed is a measurement of power. Here are two quotes from Machiavelli on this subject. The wise man does at once what the fool does eventually. Tardiness often robs us of opportunity and the dispatch of our forces. And the final principle comes from perhaps what is Machiavelli's most famous quote. It's the idea of choosing fear over love. Being someone who is feared as opposed to being loved. And I think a good way to twist this into the modern world is competence. While it is incredibly useful to be liked, competence has far more weight. Ultimately, this video was inspired by a young actor, a message that a young actor had sent to me. And if he ever ends up watching this video, I would want him to know that everything that he's trying to achieve, all the aspirations that he has for himself, I do believe that they're possible. It is possible to go after your entrepreneurial or creative endeavors. But in addition to having understandings of principles such as the law of attraction and you know the energies and the mindsets, the positive mental attitudes by which we can pursue the things that we want, it's also important to have a recognition of the way things sort of go, the machinery of the world. And you sort of have to roll up your sleeves and wrestle with the way the world works in some of its uglier ways, alongside its more aspirational ones. And these tropes, these principles of power that Machiavelli and this book, Power, also acknowledge, I think they're very relevant and they're important to the entrepreneur and the actor. But for those of us who are willing to understand these principles and to leverage them in a benevolent way while keeping your enthusiasm and authenticity intact, to us I say, greatness is coming. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.